The focus may be here, but the worries are here. China and markets bracing for a trade war. Accusations of currency manipulation and what will be ret retaliation from the Chinese authorities, I think that will dominate the first hundred days. What impact on the dollar for that one? Well, that's bad for trade. Now, therefore, I suspect that will be bad for the dollar as well. Another worry, a war of words. The auto, defence and pharmaceutical sectors, Trump's recent Twitter targets. He has proven already to be a bit of a loose cannon when it comes to his Twitter account and aiming pot shots at various sectors within the global economy. Substantial spending was another campaign battle cry. It built markets up. Some feel they're ready for a fall. Unless he can deliver on that with true policies, then that not only does that froth get blown away, but actually some of those gains will actually reduce quite quickly as well. And even if he does deliver, there'll be other pressures too. If we were to see, um, say, US 10-year rates move up decisively towards the 3% level, um, then that has the potential for having quite um, disruptive effects uh, on markets. But for others, the bulls are here to stay. For sure we may have periodic downturns, panic attacks from which we can have further progress. But until we see real signs that the US economy is heading for a session, I think this bull market has further to go. Trump almost certainly does have further to go, 100 days, just a fraction of four years.